So for today, we're going to be looking at the Fortnite arms. We're going to be making full sets with them for the classes. And obviously I'll make a review when the, all of the armor becomes available, but I do think I'm going to be making separate armor sets for each of the pieces that come out. So if you guys like the video, like comment, subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like comment, subscribe. It all does help uh, make the channel grow a lot more and it makes me feel happy. So other than that, let's get into it. So if this is your first video, we're going to be starting off with the Hunter first, then Titan and then Warlock. That's the way that I have my classes set up and I will have each of the classes timestamped. And if there's an explanation, there's also, it's also going to be timestamped. I do this in this way. So that way, if you're a main for a certain class then you can just go to that one and if you don't care about the others, uh, because that's how I am when it comes to videos, I like to just see the timestamp and be like, okay, I'm going to go here. So I try to be a like that with my videos because why not so if you guys do appreciate it again it really it really does help uh, if you, when you guys interact with the channel so hunters let's start off with you guys so with this set i ended up going with a vex look because i really like the fact that the eternal vengeance grips have a really almost vex feel to them at, at least for me personally i think the whole set gives off vex feels so for the helmet, we're going to be using the Prime Zealot mask. One of the best masks to use if you want to go for a Vex look because it's a literal Vex helmet. Aside from the Phenotype Plasticity helm, which I think is the weaker of the Vex helmets. For the arms, obviously Eternal Vengeance Grips. Uh, this came out last week now that I think about it because during the time of this video, it's already the week after Eternal Vengeance came out or two weeks i don't remember off the top of my head for the helmet we're using the phenotype plasticity vest specifically because you have the radiolarian a radiolarian oh my god the the raid radiolarian uh chest piece the the fluid the vex milk so to speak yeah it's on the chest and i like that i want to retain that for the boots we're using the interlaced strides and for the cloak we're using the psionic stalker cloak so these are the two pieces that I think are the weakest portion from this whole set. I think the helmet, the arms and the chest piece all fit really well. The weakest portions again, I think are the boots and the cloak. The cloak I'm using specifically because I like the fact that the glow on the back is white. It pairs really well with the chest piece and the boots is the best thing I can find that has electrical feel to it. Uh, when I say electrical specifically, like the chest piece or the arms, like very tactical, not tactical, very, very tech technological, like stuff like that. That's why I'm specifically using it. But if I'm being quite honest, I think internal vengeance, the boots specifically fit better for this set because the boots just look a lot better for it. And then I would probably switch the arms with something else. Overall, this is definitely not my favorite look I've made. I've it's. The thing that's unfortunate about Hunters is that we do not have a lot of pieces that have Vex looks because for Warlocks and even Titans to a certain extent, they can make a better Vex look and the Warlocks specifically, they have a Vex look that just looks amazing. I've made a look for it. I think I posted it in this video and it's literally one of my favorite Vex looks for my Warlock. Unfortunately, the Hunter and even to some degree, the Titans don't have really good Vex pieces. We do have an exotic and the Titans do as well, but it's not the best. And specifically for the hunters, we'll look at the explanation a little bit more because I do have like a few things to explain for this set. So as you can see, this is how my hunters should be looking aside from the helmet, because this is the exotic that the hunters have that specifically vex kind of. So the helmet is specifically the Wormhouse crown and it has the vex the gate lord eye that's really it that's the only thing that's very vex about it other than that if you look into it a little bit more you can still see the the like hive feeling of it so that's why i say like we do have one but technically it's not the best because underneath it it's still hive theme uh so let's actually look at the really cool thing about vex look specifically is the fact that you can actually pair like three shaders so the first one is the precursor vex chrome this is the vex shader that's from the past vex and then you have present no this is future i don't know the vex is weird like the ones that they look super futuristic is the past version of themselves and then this one is like current day i if i remember correctly 
this shader at least and then this one is the future one because they're, it's all either way you have three shaders to choose from and i think all of them are really good but if you were to ask me i think it it goes to precursor x chrome i think this is just the better shader i think the gold and white just look great but i also do like the mercury vex chrome also be aware that these arms actually have a glow to them which is pretty cool uh because it's a lot like it's not like super super a lot but it's the fact that it goes through the arms right here right on the arm on the hand right there and then on the circle right here and what's really cool is these top parts right here uh depending on what it what was it depending on which ones you put on it like armor pieces it actually shows yeah there it is it actually shows the glow a lot more so just be aware of that I'm not going to talk too much about this because i do want to go through it when we when we get all the armor pieces but yeah just be aware that there's glow to it let's actually look at a yeah that's a good that's a good glow bro yeah so Hunters, I do apologize that this is not the best that I've done, but to be fair, we are lacking with uh, or yeah, exotic ornaments that have a much better Vex look. So, uh, Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Next up is the Titans. As for the Titans, this is probably my favorite set, period. It looks really, really cool, and it's actually using an exotic that is actually pretty viable right now. A lot of people are actually using this because when you pair this with Juggernaut, it's just an additional uh health on top of juggernaut's health so it's pretty ridiculous but we're not talking we're not here to talk about that let's talk about how good this looks so for the helmet we're going for the nemean helm specifically because uh, i'm trying to make this whole set look ornate as fuck because the arms are using is the nightly noir gauntlets which are ornate as fuck the only problem is if you pair this with a female titan the arms are actually a little bit smaller than i would have liked them to be so just be aware that you're going to have to be finicky with this, that which is why I'm using this celestial plate because it's not too bulky and it's not too small. It's like right in that like good spot for me. But best believe there's other pieces that you could have worn with this. Uh, you could even you could have even done the Nimian plate for it. My only issue is that it looks too skinny when uh, with the arms, specifically with the shoulders. So just be aware of that. For the boots, we're using the Mark 44 stand aside, obviously because of the ornamental uh, look of the plates, it goes really well with the arms. And then for the Mark, we're using the Finala's Iron Mark specifically because I don't want anything too crazy. And honestly, I think the Nightly Noir's Mark is a little bit better for the situation just because it's a little bit smaller, but it's still a dick towel like this one. So there's not a lot to say about this one. There's no explanation going into this one. There is no glow on this armor set, specifically the Nightly Noir arms. There's no glow to them. It's just be aware that it's very ornate and be just make sure you're you're choosing which armor pieces that have ornate pieces to them. Uh, a good example of this is the Nemean set. The Nemean set has really good ornamental pieces. Another good set would probably be Imperium Cartographer set. I personally don't like it for this look, but I know some people will gravitate towards that look a little bit more. There's so many pieces that you could combine with this, which is why I like these arms a lot, which is why this one is most likely my favorite. But yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have really nothing to explain about this one, so just let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I think came out really good. So for the helmet we are using the mars helmet specifically the break tech researchers hood uh i'm using this because i wanted to have something mechanical for the helmet because we're using the induction ceremony chess piece i've made a few sets with this look already but the reason i gravitated towards this chess piece is because the arm themselves the painted kitsune gloves have like this almost electrical uh like look or not look but like in the arms you can see like electrical like currents going around the arm and the first thing i thought of was holy shit the induction ceremony chess piece is going to be really good with it because that has electricity always going through it so obviously i wanted to pair it the only trouble troubling part about this whole set was finding a shader that had a blue tinge that the lightning in the chest piece has, which was really hard. I think the best one was ultra plasmic for me 
because the blue is noticeable, but it's not dark enough for me. I think you, you really need a dark blue for this set, but I think this set's fine. I think I love the, the texture that it gives to the chess piece, which is why I'm using it. For the boots, we're using the Psionic Speaker boots, specifically because I like the fact that the boots have the same texture as the robes. I think that's really important. And then for the Mark, we're using the Prefectus Bond, specifically because it looks like kind of like a board from a, like an electrical thing, which is why I'm using it. But don't get it twisted. There, there is other pieces that you could use with it. It's just for me, Prefectus Bond just looks a lot better for it. The Thorium Holt Bond is also a really good one because it does have like wiring and stuff. But personally, I think the Prefect is Bond just looks way better. So, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I personally think this looks fucking wild. Like, pair this with Arc, obviously, and you're going to be looking wild. Because your arms already are going to have that electrical discharge coming out of the arm. And then your chest piece already has that. If we get a, a helmet that has, like, electrical discharge in the helmet, I think this would be, like, such an easy dub. Another good helmet would probably be Legacy Oath Cal. Just because... It does look really good with it. Actually, let's just let me just show you real quick. So this is how my warlock should be looking aside from the helmet with the legacy oath cow. I think it actually does look a lot better just because the like copper neck thing looks a lot better compared to this one because you have this like little dip right here that covers quite a bit. So I probably would tell you to switch to the legacy uh, uh, cowl legacy oath cow my my apologies yeah this just looks a lot better personally but you could do other stuff like the liminal voyager i th i think would be fine another good one is pathfinder's visor i think this one would be super dope uh th even this one i think looks super dope there's so many pieces for the helmet themselves that you can just mix and match but i think the important pieces will be the arms and the chest piece i think these two are vital to make this look look good so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me again, see links are in the description below. Let's actually talk about a few things before the video is over because I know some people are kind of curious what content I'm going to be doing right now. So I am actually making a set for these two right now. I actually, I should say I already made a set for these two. I just need to make the video. Uh, essentially, we're going to be making uh, sets for these two and for the Titan and the Hunter as well. The only ones I'm not doing is the, the legendary versions, uh, the ornament stuff, because I can't look at this in the game and I refuse to buy these because I think they should be in the game. Tell me what you will. I'm going to be real with you guys. We're also going to be talking about some drama that happened like a week or two back about uh, Divinity. We're going to be doing a lot of content this week. My arm still hurts, but I got to make content. Uh, I still have to get all of this armor as well. We're going to make a review for it and we're going to make a, uh, a set with it. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing. So hopefully you guys are tuning in. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on social media, outlets. again, I appreciate y'all for doing so. It's, it's been a really good month past two months, actually. Yeah. You guys have been blowing up the channel and I really appreciate you guys keep blowing it up and I will see you guys later.